Hi guys, Tom here from BallerBoardRacks.com with another how-to moment. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to optimize the speed on any Macintosh OS system out there. A couple of little tricks and hints. What we're going to do is we're going to dump a lot of stuff that we're not using. We're going to take care of our back web, and we're basically just going to close up anything that's like gumming down the processor. So wasting no time, we're going to go right into it. First thing I want to do is go to System Preferences. So we can get through this quick, I'm going to go to mouse, I can adjust my tracking speed, you guys will probably be right here, bump that baby up, make it run fast, double click speed, all that stuff, scrolling, I'm going to scroll quick, so it's like I got my mouse, I'm zooming, I'm going to go back this way, next thing I'm going to do, if, you're, you, uh, if you just got a new Mac, um, this will probably really help you out, universal access, you go here, make sure all this voiceover crap and hearing and keyboard and mouse and all this stuff is turned off. You don't need any of these extra things under any of these um, subheaders right here under universal access. So make sure all that stuff is turned off. You don't need any of it. Going back. So we got system preferences. We got universal access. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our uh, login items and uh, you're going to find that. It's going to be under uh, system pref. We're going to go to accounts. You'll already have your setup because when you you know went through your very first day with your Mac, you set up an admin account. We're gonna go to login items, and you know basically if you have a bunch of stuff listed down here, um, you can just click on it, and then you can subtract it off. So I don't need that helper um, at the very beginning, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take that off. Um, HP Event Handler, uh, I'm not really too worried about that. Um, I can go ahead and just leave that there because that's an automatic application for something else. So try to clear this list and see login items basically what that's gonna do it's like when you start up your computer you're gonna have all this stuff running in the background like Spotify will be there maybe iPhoto maybe Word um, probably QuickTime probably your iTunes a bunch of stuff will be in this list and when you turn it off what's gonna happen is it's not gonna automatically start up when you restart your computer so it's all those programs won't be running in the back web slowing everything down just like an iPhone really so we're gonna go back. We took care of our uh, login items, so now we're running with you know a clean, fresh back web. And uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to um, our HD, which is this is my primary HD. And uh, what I want to do is I want to delete all unwanted files um, off my system that I'm no longer using. So I go into applications, and basically when you go to applications, this is gonna be um, just like with a PC where you have uh, that program that says uninstall program well you don't have to do all that basically I'm looking right here this is DivX player um, plus I never use this so I'm gonna select it drag it drop it into the trash down here and then um, what else am I looking for chess you know what I never play chess on this computer I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that too it's asking me for um, my password which it may ask you for yours mine's set to open so I just click OK um, let's see we got address book that's good Adobe Apple shop um, QMeister Apple QMeister that's all help stuff uh, calculator pff, I never use a calculator on here that's ridiculous so I'm gonna get rid of that I'm gonna press OK because that's a that's a, a primary program um, coming down through we got DivX this is garbage I never use this uh, DivX player, whoop, 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 whoop. DivX converter, never use that either. Um, Final Cut's good. This is all good. Fonts, um, iCal's good. iChat, you know, this is another thing that I just never ever use it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that as well. Um, photo booth, I don't even know what this is, so it's going bye bye. I'm going to press OK. Um, Hewlett Packard definitely need that. It runs my printer. Going down the list, Picasa. I don't even know where this came from. This is some garbage program by Microsoft. Haha, <laughs> laughable. Uh, Skype, Sunflower. Don't need this anymore. That's crap. Um, stickies. I never use these. That's like a little post-it system. These things suck. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Press OK. And some of these are gonna be primary files that Apple just includes, um, which you just don't freaking need. So all the rest of this looks pretty good. I'm also going to go into utilities and just see what I have here. Um, activities, that's you pretty much need all this stuff. Bluetooth exchange, console. Yeah, all this is all this is primo, so all this is really good. I'm um, going to go back, going to clear out of this, going to come to file, um, 
finder and I'm gonna go to empty trash and watch all this stuff pile off look at this it's just counting like tons of stuff um, and it's going you know it's kinda slow like that because those are those are probably big bulky programs alright so basically I cleared all that stuff off, got rid of the applications. Um, any other applications that you have, if you run into trouble, all you have to do is you go over to the internet. There's my site, Baller Board Racks, um, which is a totally different thing from this. But you come over here, and um, this is uh, Emmafish. It's 52 ways to speed up your OS X. I consolidated this whole list, went through the whole thing, and I'm just giving you guys, um, you know, the A list, what's really going to help you. So check this if you need a reference. You can use this URL right here, or you could just search um, 52 ways to speed up Mac. And that article should come up right here. It is. There you go. No problem. So that's just a good reference. All right. So coming back. Um, oh, another thing I wanted to mention. If you get into trouble and you don't know how to do something, like let's say you're trying to uh, close or get rid of a program, and you get a warning that says, you know, this application cannot be deleted because such and such is in use. All you have to do is go over here and say um, how to just Google it. How to um, uh, delete said pro DivX and then it'll give you how to uninstall DivX um, and you basically just you can you just do a little research because everybody's computer is going to be a little different so that's a really helpful tip um, anytime you want to get rid of something just put in how to delete such and such program that's a great way to do it coming back down next thing I want to do uh, I'm gonna go to dashboard because dashboard is one of those back web programs that just slows everything down because it take it pulls in so much information from so many different sites you don't need really dashboard at all unless you unless you use it I use it for a couple little things so I'm gonna keep a few but I go to plus I'm gonna come down here see where it says manage widgets alright so I'm gonna go to manage my widgets and I don't need any of this stuff address book gone um, business gone calculator gone dictionary I do use uh, words of the day, stuff like that. ESPN gone, flight tra tracker gone, um, Google I don't need here, HP Inc. I do need that, iCal, nope, iTunes, nope, movies, nope. So all this stuff that's kind of running as far as a resource, you know, behind the scenes is really slowing stuff up. So you just, you don't need it. Google Translate, I don't use that on here. Unit Converter, I do kind of like having that. Weather, definitely. Web Clip, no and then world clock not so much so if I go back out look what I have now I have three little things I've got my HP ink checker I've got the weather which I always want to check up on and I got my little dictionary right here a lot cleaner a lot better off click on my click on the uh, on the uh, uh, main screen right here and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna take a look back into system preferences and I may have already done this, but let's just double check it real quick. Um, all these, all these preferences have certain things that are turned on automatically. Bluetooth, for example, I'm not using it right now, and I don't use it that much. So if you don't use it, just click it off because that's going to save your system and help it run a lot faster. Another thing you want to do is if Time Machine, and a lot of you guys will have this, it it automatically turns this on or this is set to on when you first get your computer. Just go from on to off and turn off Time Machine. All this does is it takes up space on another partition drive here and it just backs everything up. So it just double copies everything over, which is just a complete waste in my personal opinion. Um, if you want to back something up, back it up on an external. It's going to be much safer, much better than wasting all your hard drive space um, on your computer, which, I mean, mine has four because I got four terabytes running, but you guys will probably only have Mac HD. So turn off Time Machine. No use, no, no need for that. All right, going back out. Uh, we got Bluetooth, we got Time Machine off. Um, oh, also wanted to show you guys this little trick. Um, some of the older Macs, if you go into applications, okay, all this stuff, um, everything you see here in older versions like Tiger um, and some previous versions, if you're still using those older versions, if you go over to an application, like let's say I want to do Automator, and I'll, I'll hold Command which is the little symbol on the keyboard that has the apple and the uh, square squiggly line thing and then you press I as in as in in so 
that will bring up your your your, your info doc uh, right over here. And if you look at this list, you guys that have the older you know Mac OS X, um, which are the ones that really really need this, you'll see something here after you go to, um, it's not really going to say sharing, it's going to say something about languages. And when you click on languages, you'll see that it has like Chinese, Japanese, and all these other languages. You select them, just leave English alone, do not highlight that, and you just press minus. And it deletes all those extra languages that you'll see down in this section for the older OS systems. That is a huge tip. It will save you probably 500 megabytes worth of space getting rid of those old language um, those um, old language uh, setups uh, for the previous OS versions. So that's a huge tip. Uh, so we got rid of languages. The next thing we want to do is I want to go to my library. So I'm going to go to you know my account here. I'm going to go to library. Um, I'm going to look at all this stuff and if, th if there are things in here that I don't need then I'm going to get rid of this stuff. For example, you want to check your cache. This is just basically these are images that these programs have saved from the internet. You can, get, you can just click on one, hit Apple A, select them all, take them all down here and drag and drop them right in the trash. And then you just click OK and it's going to get rid of all that crap. Cache is just little images that slow everything up plus it'll clean everything else which is great um, I got calendars here this is just older stuff I'm not really worried about it doesn't take up any space um, colors color sync cookies here's another one this is usually a lot fuller I, I cleaned it up earlier but you just drag and drop right in the trash make sure all your cookies are gone that's huge uh, fonts images iMovie um, widgets you know all this stuff looks pretty good I don't really want to get rid of most of that so I'm in good shape I'm um, gonna go back out go up to file pardon me finder empty trash again and it's gonna get look at that that is and you just press continue if you see anything like that if it's running this is one of those things I was talking about earlier you know startup cache dot eight dot allow, whatever you can highlight this you can copy it and then you can go to if I copy it I can go to the internet and I can put in how to delete control V startup cache little boom and then here waterfox you know delete startup cache dot eight dot little you know something that you probably don't need so that's how you find out how to get rid of stuff if it tells you that you can't otherwise just push continue 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 and it'll just it'll just delete all those cookies and all that trash look at all this space I mean I'm probably picking up at least another you know two to three hundred megabytes of space if not a couple gigabytes of space just because of cash and cookies and all the garbage um, that was that's been building up and building up since I've been using the internet uh, for the past like year without doing a big clean like this so while we're on standby waiting for this thing to trash out um, we've already gotten through the library that's fantastic the next thing we're gonna do is while that's working we can all we can also go over to our browsers and we can start on those 